Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR09. In this episode of our season with Greg Biffles and Rachnophobia Eyes number 16, 3 and 4, we're going to be doing race 31 of 36, the Bank of America 500 at Lowe's Motor Speedway. It's going to be a 26 lap race, shorter than the first Charlotte race, because, well, the first one was 600 miles, and, you know, the Pepsi Cola 600 that we did. We have to pass 20 cars, and we can do that at literally any race we do in this game. And the uh, arachnophobiaized because racing at Charlotte. That's so in death. But oh well. Michael Walshup starting on the pole next to Kurt Busch, and we've got Jeff Gordon next to John Wood, Mark Martin starting fifth next to Elliot Sadler, Kyle Busch starting seventh next to Ryan Newman, Martin Trex Jr. starting next to. Tony Stewart. Well, where the hell is Matt Kenseth? He's, he's second in points, and he's over here qualifying 15th. I don't know. And apparently, John Wood is doing best of all these guys that are up front. This is weird, man. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get going. We are, once again, going to be using the main paint scheme, starting behind Dario Franchitti and Casey Mears. The green flag is out, and we are underway here at Lowe's Motor Speedway for 26 laps. Okay, really good restart that time. Of course, the worn tires will be more difficult. Hopefully no cautions at all after the stupidity that was Talladega. Oh my god, they're going way too slow going to turn one. Made some contact with Regan Smith, and all of a sudden they just took off going to turn two. Disappoint. Wow. Uh, Case Mears is right back here, and then now he's right up there. Doing better than me. Not for long. Oh my god. He just slowed down a ton going through turn four. And here comes Dario Franchi. We're up on the outside. And, uh, Dario Franchi made a little contact, and then oh, it's, it's not like that's what co happens whenever you make contact, but okay. Oh my god, I'm turning. Just let me turn. God. This is, this is frustratingly stupid. My car's already all banged up. Darn. My trunk is cracked open. It's not even a trunk. What the hell's. What the hell? What the hell else would I call this darn thing on the back of my car? My trunk carries my gas tank. That's about it. An enormous gas tank. Probably we're just getting in the way. I just wish people would stop making contact with me, and I could stop making contact with other people. This is this is so dumb. Oh my god. Well, we're making up positions over a long period of time, sadly, but all right. So Carl Edwards is already back in the very tail end of the field and all that. Or he will be eventually. Ah! I'm, I'm over here having to turn before the corner begins just because Denny Hamlin's there. Oh, on the apron. So, John Wood has won three races. Kyle Petty, he's won both the Dover races. I don't know the rest of the races that random drivers have won in this game. They win races, and then the rest of the time, they're not consistent. I mean, Carl Edwards almost won at Talladega, but EA Sports had to tear that that trophy down for us. I have tire marks on the side of my car. Ugh, Marcus Ambrose on the outside. Uh, JJ Yilly, Jeff Burton. Um, okay, so I have a few eyes. I've got Casey Kane, Jimmy Johnson, and AJ Allimendinger. <laughs> Allimendinger. All right. Take our time. Take our time. Oh my goodness. I'm just gen I'm just generically going on the gas. Will you stop slowing me down before I wreck you, you idiot? Ugh. It's like they get slower and slower every time I rear-end them. That's... Isn't there a word for that? I wouldn't remember it. So we just passed so many cars with, within five laps. I feel like that's what happens every time. In Talladega, we had that, everything completed there. And, uh, to tell you the truth, we haven't won a race in four races. If we don't win this one, it'll turn into five races, and then six, because I don't think we're ever going to win at Martinsville in this LP. It's really difficult to win at Martinsville in this game. Because you have to be careful on your tire usage and conserve all of that while you're making your way through the field. And it's usually easy the first time around. Whenever you come up towards the end of the race, your tires are really worn because you're up front and it's all 
there's a lot more room for you to move. It's not so packed together. And so if we if we don't win this race, then I don't think we're gonna win Martinsville, which will cause us to go this entire week not winning a single race. It's four races in one week and we're not gonna win a single one of them in this LP. Oh my god, I'm just I just hate traffic so much in this game. You you gotta go and you can't go because they go way too slow. What the hell? This car is sponsored by Polaroid. How can you... That's weird, man. Polaroid 2008? I mean, Polaroids still do exist. You could take Polaroid still, but what the hell? Alright, so we're about to make the top 10 as we pass Kyle Busch and uh, somebody. Oh my god! Kevin Harvick too slow in the corner. We almost spin him. So we're in the top 10 now. Um, I'm on drafting Paul Menard. Matt Kenseth, um, well, he he's back there behind us. We already passed him, didn't we? Ah, I miss him. I should have been working with him and all that, but nope. Well, there's Tony Stewart. I like Tony Stewart. We work with Tony Stewart. I try to. Tony Stewart almost won the last race we did at Charlotte, but um, his AI switched to like. Um, go slow mode and everything, and we passed him off the turn, turn two. Before the last lap began, Mark Martin tried to make a move, and I, I cut him off, because I didn't even know he was coming. I'm just pushing Tony Stewart at the moment. And just help Paul Menard, now I'm over helping Tony Stewart trying to get past Paul Menard, it's ridiculous. I don't know, he, he has to keep checking up because he can't go anywhere. It's just this game, this dumb game. And I can't wait to stop playing, but hey, start something, gotta finish it. I started it because I like this car, and that's like the only reason why. Aside from the fact that other people have never LP'd this game. Like, this is one of the least LP games um, in the entire NASCAR YouTube gaming community shit thing. I know uh, Anthony Martin has done a two player LP of this game, it is season mode with a friend of his. But, uh, it's not the same thing as a single player one. I've seen other ones that are started but never finished. We can't pass anybody with Tony Stewart because there's constantly somebody in the way. I need to shove him into freaking Martin Trek Jr. and get him out of the way. There we go, that, that works. We got past two cars in the same corner. And now, I'm pushing Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart's pushing Paul Menard. Or at least Tony Stewart's stopping himself from pushing Paul Menard, I don't know. Okay, now we're really getting somewhere. Tony, uh, Tony Stewart. Jeff Gordon is in the lead. Oh, here we go, here we go. Loose out the corner, and now I don't make any contact with his bumper, so he's not passing. Hey, go, go, go. Thank you. Took a while. Finally got past Paul Menard. We're about to make third place. Tony Stewart second, and Jeff Gordon in the lead. All right. Try to push Tony... Puss? I'm trying to push... Trying to push Tony Stewart past Jeff Gordon. Wow, we just flew right past him. And I'm gonna follow in sleep. There we go. We got freaking Walmart car behind us. What the hell? How's Walmart car doing up here? You guys, Walmart car. Mike Sparks. Is that his name? All right, so we're getting really low on fuel. Um, we're gonna be halfway done with this race. Coming to the line next time. Um, I'm gonna go down pit road whenever Tony Stewart does. Don't know if it's this time or what, but... Not this time, probably next time. I'm gonna help Tony Stewart lead another lap. I think this will be his second lap that he's gonna lead this race. I honestly think I should try passing him before I go down pit road. Ah! 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 only problem is, I mean, if I pass him before he decides to go down pit road. Okay, he's going down pit road, I can tell right now. Now he's going extremely fast, but... Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go! Tried to slow down. I can't pass him going down pit road. It's not going to happen. Maybe we'll pass him um, as we go. Maybe his pit stalls before pit road. And we got a caution. As I'm going down pit road, getting my pit stop. 
I don't know where his pit stall is, but if it was before the finish line, then we're in good luck. I can't look behind me. Uh, Slaps positions. Um, hmm. uh, this, this sucks. I don't know if I led that lap. I would like to have led that lap, because it might be my only chance. Crap. Or maybe some of the cars, maybe one of the cars behind us led a lap because, well, it takes a while to get down pit road. It probably would have been the case. I don't know how many of those cars went down pit road. The heck? This is unusual. All right, uh, Carl Edwards, dumbass. He, look at this nose stand by Dell Jr. That was ridiculous. This low gravity shit this game has. And now we get to see it again. He, he raped his own teammate. Dang it. Come on, Carl Edwards. I don't know, he's just salty because he didn't win at Talladega like I was trying to help him do. He hates this game just as much as I do. <laughs> Everybody's shifting over. So we already took our pit stop. We're gonna have a bunch of cars going down pit road. We're in 15th place, that'll definitely change as we come to the green again I don't know what the point of that was, we're in the lead we got the Walmart car behind us uh, Jeff Gordon, Paul Menard I don't know why the Walmart car just hit the wall so now we're in the lead and this is dumb I'm confused how are we in the lead? It's probably going to be hard to keep these cars behind us because, you know, like the same thing with Richmond. Caution comes out, so now the racing is getting a little difficult. Don't know how long we're going to have the lead, though. We have the lead for the rest of the race, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the end. As expected, we just spent the last 10 laps or whatever staying in the lead. About 0.3 seconds the entire time. Tires wearing out little by little. Uh... I set a new fastest lap time at one point in this race. No, nothing much to say about that. Tony Stewart is actually in 40th place, where he was last time I checked. Which is stupid, makes no sense, because he was right in front of me whenever we went down pit road in the lead. And we pit at the same time. How is it that he loses that many positions? Cars had to pit under caution. I don't know. We're going to win this race. Now it's something I'm proud of, but the win the streak is over. That's awesome. Oh my god. I don't know what happened to Matt Kinseth or where he finished at. Let's go ahead and do some donuts. All right, let's let's do this. Yeah, yeah, donuts. Uh, Charlotte nuts. Lowe's Motor Speed nuts. I have no clue what to call these. All right, so innovating. Innovation. Innovation is life. All right. Uh, let's do some donuts all over the Bank of America. Last lap sponsored by Credit One Bank of America 500. I don't know. Okay, let's 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 go, 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 car, go, go, go. All right, stupid freaking tire word excuses. All right, fine. Okay, yeah, we passed 20 cars. Easy thing, piece of cake. Saving time uploading this video by cutting out those pointless laps that we ran. I don't know why we were in the lead. It doesn't make any sense how we're in the lead because I didn't. I see cars come out of pit road right in front of me. Did they just skip their pit stall instead? Their, their pit stall. Skip their pit stop and then abort and pit under caution. There's no reason for that. Oh, oh my goodness. So stupid. At least the winless streak is over. Next up is Martinsville. I'm not exactly confident that we're going to win that, but I'm confident that we can hopefully, you know, get a top five. We got a top five there last time. Did we finish, like, fourth? Uh, I like racing at Martinsville in this game. It presents a pretty nice challenge. This, I was only hesitant that we were going to win because last time we barely beat Tony Stewart. We took us a while to get, after, to get past him. And uh, this time, the caution just annihilated the entire purpose of the race. It's not hard to stay in the lead on tires that are hardly worn. 
Uh, yeah, nothing much to look at in highlight reels. But let's go ahead and take a look at the race results. Paul Menard started 26th and finished second. I led 11 laps, so I started 43rd and finished first. I led the most laps in this race, get 10 bonus points. Jeff Gordon started third and finished third. He led five laps in this race. Kevin Harvick started 21st. He finished fourth. Mark Martin started fifth and finished fifth, led two laps. Uh, who is that? Is that Kurt Busch started in second and finished sixth. He led two laps as well. Elliot Sadler started sixth and finished seventh, led one lap. Casey Kane started 14th, finished eighth. Ryan Newman started 8th and finished 9th. He led 2 laps. Uh, Reed Sorensen started 22nd and finished 10th. I remember he was holding me up at one point. John Wood finished 11th. Uh, Mike Sparks, the Walmart car, okay, we saw him having trouble at the restart for some reason. He led a lap and then he finished 16th. I don't know why. I mean, he was right behind me and then he just gave up and hit the wall on the restart. That's always questioning Walmart, aren't we? Yeah. Gonna have to give up on questioning Walmart. Dave Reagan finished 20, 21st after starting 33rd. Um, Jamie McMurray started 38th and finished 28th, gained 10 positions in this race. And Carl Edwards started 31st and finished 35th. Tony Stewart, as I said, he was in 40th at one point. He started 10th and finished 36th and only led two laps in this race. I'm so confused. I really am. And our teammate, Matt Kinseth, he started 15th and finished 39th. This game is a hard ass. Dang it. What the heck? Ridiculous. Uh, Mar Markle. Michael Altrup started on pole and finished 43rd. What did this game just do to itself with this race? I mean, it was a stupid caution with salty Carl Edwards. And, and then it all ends up with me winning the race and... All those good chase drivers getting sent to the very back of the field. It's a lot less possible for them to win the championship now. I think I started getting a hold of things, and then the the other AI that are in the chase, they started it started falling apart for them. So this time, I'm not going to forget to turn up the TV after the race and going into the loading screen like you usually do. Um, you know, just so that you can listen to the music and the ugly quality so it doesn't get copyrighted. Next up is the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series 500 at Martinsville Speedway. It's going to be a 40 lap race, race 32 of 36. Really looking forward to it and we are going to be racing the secondary paint scheme. The whatever you call it paint scheme. I'll find something new to shit. <laughs> I pressed X. I don't know why. There we go. Hey, There's my car hitting right there. It's kind of like an average car. This car sucks at road courses. And yet we did pretty good at Watkins Glen until bad stuff happened. And, well, in Finney and I just blew it. I know I can finish better in Finney than we did this season. Let's go ahead and take a look at the standings. John Wood is in second, 223 points behind. That That's like, that's almost two races I could just skip right through and I'd still probably be in the points lead. It all depends. Uh, Matt Kinseth is in third, Tony Stewart in fourth, Kurt Busch fifth, Michael Waltrip sixth, Clint Boyer seventh, Jeff Gordon eighth, Paul Menard ninth, Dale Jarrett tenth, Dale Nart Jr. in eleventh, and Brian Vickers twelfth. That is the chase. Um, um, Jamie McMurray is in 31st in points, David Reagan's in 36th. Oh my goodness, David Reagan's falling behind again. Carl Edwards still in 40th, of course, and uh, the Walmart car driver, Mike Sparks, 42nd. You know, whatever. I don't know why he just destroyed himself in that race we just did. Okay, and uh, yeah, all the fantasy drivers that I apparently called my teammates a couple episodes ago. Alright, so, see you guys next time at Martinsville. That should be really interesting. Always looking forward to the Martinsville races. The first Martinsville race was really great. If you haven't seen it, um, go ahead and check it out. It was great for compared to all the other races that we do just because it's it's challenging, you know, with the way the car works and getting off the corners and Martins will always be interesting in this game and in a lot of games that we race at, um Martinsville at. See you next time, that's that and episode over.